y'all welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name's Tara today I'm pretty excited because I get to share a collaboration with my good friend Lauren from Lauren Southern Life um we're doing a football like appetizers appetizer excuse me um like a game day ready kind of thing both of our teams are playing so go Eagles <laughs> sorry Lauren but yeah I made a couple of different things um all the sauces I made was from scratch, well, sauces basically, maybe not a couple, but the A1 um, sauce for the meatballs is. Um, so, yeah, let's jump into it. Okay, y'all, I'm sorry for the background noise. I cannot get my kids to be quiet or their phones. They won't turn them down. So, I'm going to start off with the bacon um, wrapped tater tots. You just add a little cheese on top, some cheddar cheese or whatever kind of cheese you like, and it's really good. All you do is crisscross the bacon and then add the tater tot in the middle, cook it for about 15 minutes without adding the cheese. Then you take it out and then put cheese on top and cook it for another five minutes or until the cheese is melted. You can use whatever kind of cheese you would like. I use cheddar cheese. Here I'm starting off my beer sauce for the beer brats. Um, you can use whatever kind of beer you like. I just chose to use this one. Okay, you want to put the brown sugar in there and let the beer and brown sugar cook for 15 minutes. I could not find my Dijon mustard, so I just use regular mustard, and it tasted just fine. Now you want to go ahead, after it's cooked for, I don't know, maybe five minutes, go ahead and add your, I think it's one tablespoon of flour, so it'll get a little thick. Now you want to let this simmer for another 15 minutes. So it will get real good and thick. I actually had to add a little bit more brown sugar, but it started to get thicker. I've already cooked and prepared the brats, so I just went ahead and cut them up so they can be tossed into the sauce. Now at the end, you just want to sprinkle a little bit of parsley on it. You don't have to, but I did. Mm -hmm. 
And here I'm starting with my cream cheese mixture to put with these um, sweet bell peppers or sweet peppers. And you just cut them in half and then add this cream cheese mixture and it is delicious. I actually used um, real bacon. I didn't have any bacon bits, so I just had bacon on hand. You can use bacon bits, but I just used this. the sun go down over the same old town like so many times before we look at the same old stars battle the same old wars like so many times before and i know that we're not perfect this is what it actually looks like i just went ahead and fast forward it because you get the picture you just put it on top now here i'm starting off with my corn dip I didn't have two cans of regular corn and I wish I did. It would have been better and it was supposed to have been one can of yellow corn and one can of white corn. And then I add the cream cheese and all the other stuff. But if you do have them two types of corn, please use them because this was it was too runny. But we still ate it. Okay, I'm gonna tell y'all the ingredients real fast. Like I said, it was one can of white corn, one can of yellow corn, um, one 10 ounce can of rotel or tomatoes and green chili, um, two tablespoons, or sorry, two teaspoons of chili powder, two teaspoons of cumin, one teaspoon of garlic powder, which I didn't have that much, so I just sprinkled what I could in there, salt and pepper, and then you just want to heat this up on medium heat until it all melts and it's done. Okay, here I'm doing my cheesy garlic crescent rolls. Um, for the butter, I had to melt. I know what I it was. I think six tablespoons of the salted butter. I melted that and then do four to five gar garlic cloves um, grated and added one and a half tablespoons, teaspoons, sorry, of Italian seasoning, one teaspoon dried parsley, a half a teaspoon of dried basil, which I did not use the dry. And it's fine. I kind of was hoping it's going to be a little green from the basil because it does tend to turn stuff green for the eagles, you know. So, but they really didn't turn green after they were cooked. But you put this on 375 and usually use the mozzarella sticks, but I didn't have that. So I just used the sh um, shredded that you get and it tasted really good. It's I couldn't really tell a difference. You just gotta make sure you put a lot in there and you just close the edges 
so your cheese ain't coming out and it's good. Even if you try, you wouldn't understand it. Maybe something's missing inside of you. Just a bit of sugar to that hobby bitter. Maybe you taste different. Hold up, hold up, baby. I can't sit beside you while you're going on about your simple life. Nothing left you thinking that maybe you're not different It never hit you Our conversation takes to Paying it some interest From time to time Inside all that greatness In all of your adventures You're all alone Hold up, hold up, baby I can't sit beside you While you're going on About your simple life Nothing left you thinking that maybe you're not different. Here I'm just making my A1 beer and Coca-Cola barbecue sauce for my meatballs. Um, if you have any questions, I will try to measure it out best way I can and tell you what all I added. But it consists of mainly them three, some Worcestershire, um salt and pepper and brown sugar now you do want to cook this for around 15 to 20 minutes on medium high heat um, after you can tell when it's done it does get a little syrupy and it turns red For the best taste to me, I use the Thick and Hearty A1. If you use regular A1, it's this real tangy. But this way, it's real. It's more of a sweet tasting, but you still get the heat from it too. As you can see, it is starting to turn red. And I did just make some pasta salad for my daughter. She loves it, so I went ahead and made it. And here's all the game day appetizers. And I want to give a big... Thank you to Lauren. Please go check out her channel. Thank you for watching.